Hey, what's going on, everybody? For First Week Feast, I'm Sean Evans, and you're watching Hot Ones, the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. Today, I'm joined by Toucan Boy. So, can you just introduce yeah, yourself? Me. I'm Toucan Boy. I know, uh, I know Neat Tom here from school, and uh, I don't have a YouTube channel yet. Yeah, he d he does not have a YouTube channel, but uh, go. I'm working on one. All right, City yeah. Skyline play. It's gonna be the first. I got Toucan Town already started. All right, it's gonna be great. Hold on. Are we gonna get a shameless plug? Yeah, YouTube.com/slash/TucanBoy27. Uh, I believe. I don't remember. I think it was twenty-seven. Uh, so let's just jump into it. You know, like I don't organize these podcasts at all. So this is just like F tier podcast. So As a good podcast should be. -tier. Yeah. So we're just gonna talk about some things, have a couple goofs and gaffes, and is that the usual? So let's talk about Minecraft. Um, of course. It had a big resurgence this year. Um, it's been interesting because I I never played Minecraft. You haven't. I have like never. In its prime, you never played it. I don't think I played it within its prime. I don't think so. I th I only remember like one time I played it in like 2014, and I was fucking recreating Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, that's probably about its prime. Okay, so I did play it in its prime. So, okay, so yeah. I guess I count. Mm -hmm. But like besides that, I've never played Minecraft. Besides that one moment. Yeah. Uh, I personally, let's see, third grade, I want to say my eighth birthday, I asked my grandmother for a Minecraft gift card back when it was $27, and, uh, I have that same PC, like, in my house right now, I'm actually gonna move it up to my room soon, but yeah, that's, like, where I started off on Minecraft, because my friend kept telling me about it, but we didn't know how to do online, so... Yeah. We'd only play with each other whenever he was at my house, and we just kept taking turns building stuff and trying to surprise each other with what we build. It was kind of fun. Oh, God. I wish I had friends. That sounds unfortunate. Yeah. No, no, is it unfortunate? G Fuel. The only good fuel for gamers. <laughs> <laughs> what if I actually had, like, a sponsor one day, and that's just the, that's just the segue, like... So yeah, my wife left me recently, and it sucks. But thanks to me, Undies, for sponsoring this podcast. <laughs> yeah, thank you to me, Undies. But no, I actually recently this summer gonna go off track a little bit. But I, uh, I did start purchasing G Fuel, um, just because I felt like it. I want to take gaming to the whole nother level. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel you. And so, one of my favorite flavors for anyone looking to try it out. Don't just but like I bought the starter kit. Because it came with a free cup and a bunch of flavors. Starting flavors are ass. Like the kits you get with the start, the flavors you get with the starter kit are not good. Like some of them are, but like if you ever come up to me and say Phase Berry is your favorite flavor G Fuel, just get out of my face. I'll punch you. It's, some of them are just so awful. Like the ones I have right now, I have three different tubs. I have like gummy fish, which is just Swedish fish. I got cotton candy and rainbow sherbet. Cotton candy sucks that it's uh, <coughs> Keemstar's uh, inspired flavor. Oh no. But it's still pretty good. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, PewDiePie doesn't have one, but if he did, I would have bought his flavor. I feel like it would be something like cherry and raspberry. I don't know. Because, I mean, it kind of like represents yeah. his brand. It's like the red and the. I don't know. Alright, but. Minecraft was like. That was all my childhood. From third grade till about like. Fifth grade, that sucked was from like fifth grade to seventh grade. Minecraft just refused to run on my computer because that's when it was making the switch from Windows 10 edition and Java being different things. Yeah. So that was back when you had to have Java installed on your computer if you wanted to run Minecraft. Which obviously my 2008 Dell, uh, you know, or HP desktop to, like tower didn't come pre installed with Java. Because why would you have Java on a home computer? Yeah. Like, that wasn't a thing that you needed. So I figured out, after doing a bunch of other stupid attempts of me just trying to forcefully run Minecraft on my computer, even to the point where I just started deleting a bunch of random shit because I thought I didn't have enough data, 
I just realized that, like, oh, it says you do not have Java. And I looked up on on Google how to download Java, and I just downloaded it, and it started working again, which I was really excited about. God, I, I wish I had, like, memories of Minecraft that weren't Five Nights at Freddy's related, but, like... Oh, trust me. Like, <sighs> a lot of people have weird memories of Minecraft. I remember on Pocket Edition, entirely on Pocket Edition. Yeah, I played it on I Pocket agree. Edition. That, on that Pocket was... Edition, because that was my only, like, source of Minecraft until I got a PlayStation. On Pog Edition, I recreated the entire establishment for Five Nights at Freddy's 3. And I worked so hard on it. And it was really good. Yeah. I did Five Nights at Freddy's 1 because it was 2014. Like, at the time, you only had, like, FNAF 1 and 2. So I just thought, yeah. oh, I'm just going to do the first one because it's easier. Yeah. Yeah, 2 was the best game. 2 was the best game. Don't even happen. Oh, yeah. Speaking of Five Nights at Freddy's, it turned 5 years old a couple days ago. Oh, it did? Alright, happy birthday, FNAF. I don't care about you. It's another yeah. new game! Oh, yeah, like, there's a new game that came out this year. It was, like, fucking Five Nights at Freddy's Help Peace Wanted. FNAF. Peace. Wait, what? The, like, a VR game for FNAF came out. Oh, yeah, Help Wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Splurm, who was supposed to be on this podcast with us, but he will be on another episode, was doing a playthrough of it with us, or not with us, but he was doing a live stream playthrough, and it was kind of fun to watch him get scared like a little bitch boy. I played it when I went to his house, it wasn't that scary, but almost gave me a seizure, so that wasn't fun. Yeah, um, Adam, Stay if, tuned for if, the episode where Adam gets in here. So. Adam, if you're watching this, um, I think you're a little bitch, because you got spooked by FNAF, so I'm just saying, like, that's pretty, oh, no. it's pretty gay, dude. Oh no, I accidentally summoned a demon in my room. Okay, let me put that down. Oh no, why, right. why'd you do that? Oh, I was just playing with a laser pointer I have, and my cat emerged from the shadows. She saw it. Oh my god. Yeah. Alright, anyway, so Minecraft's Resurgence, I'm really glad it actually is coming back. I feel like what kickstarted the whole Minecraft Resurgence is just because I'm a fan of the... I'm a big fan of the community, is the SMP Live server with Call Me Carson and Ted Nivison and Traves and all those people. Check them out, they're actually really fucking funny. Um, but they started a uh, SMP, which is a... Uh, survival multiplayer on Minecraft where you had to be live streaming it and like that ser that server started off with like a couple like just random comedy YouTubers that want they wanted to do something fun with it so then they made SMP live and then what SMP live turned into is on the second day of it being up Ant Venom the big Minecraft YouTuber requested to join the actual SMP and then he did and then it just went like off from there, all these mine like Captain Sparkles is in it, Scott is Minecraft, Caveman Films, all these Minecraft YouTubers are leaving Fortnite behind and coming into Minecraft again. And I, I believe the resurgence of Minecraft all starts with SMP Live. Because that's just what I believe. And then PewDiePie started picking up again, they're trying to get PewDiePie on the server, but I don't know if he's going mm. to. Yeah, a lot of people are connecting to like PewDiePie is the reason for Minecraft being successful well, again. Which... That's what a lot people connected to PewDiePie because PewDiePie big number one man. Other than these small, like I can kind of see it, but like it's not just PewDiePie. Just no, be... PewDiePie's Minecraft Let's Play started like two months after SMP Live started getting popular, and all and Minecraft started coming back. I feel like obviously just because I'm a big fan of the SMP Live whole thing and all the streamers in it, but it just like sparked off like ignited the flame that went down the fuse that exploded into minecraft resurgence yeah and there's some memes that came out of it one in particular is obviously the creeper meme which was funny oh, for a, a good few seconds which is a bit, yeah, it was pretty okay the creeper creeper that thing i don't like that because it's like oh everyone type creeper and keep it going in the comments like shut up no one likes that revenge as a song mm. Classic. I will always have nostalgia for Revenge, Fallen Kingdom, fucking Find the Pieces, what else is it? Take Back the Night. All Captain Sparkle songs, except for, like, Dragonhearted. Like, those are all the songs that I have such fond memories for. And a bunch of other Minecraft, um, Minecraft style. Basically, if you name a Captain Sparkle song, I'll remember it from my childhood. It was a great time. I think I lived a not so good childhood because I just remember Five Nights at Freddy's. That's I think. Well, yeah, that's what like a lot of people will go through. Yeah. It's like oh Minecraft, but then it's like oh Minecraft for baby Five Nights at Freddy. Good. Yeah, but yo, like you play Minecraft, that's some pussy shit. Have you ever that's played crazy, um the spooky dude. animatronics? Y'all ever play Five Nights at Freddy's, dude? 
<laughs> free, free game on Steam. FNAF World, not scary, but FNAF. FNAF World, free game on Steam. I feel like we're just. I feel like I'm just continuing a chain of making fun of Chris, because like two episodes ago when Kevin was on here, we made fun I, of. I, I, I need to watch that. I didn't see Kevin's episode yet. Oh my god, you should. There was this one bit where we were just making fun of Chris, and I said I, that he was the kind of guy that was like, "Hey, have you ever played Five Nights at Freddy's before?" Yeah, we played Five Nights. Uh, I need to send you this picture, and I want you to somehow put it in editing. Oh, I will. What the picture is. But it's just like Chris, and I sent this to Adam. He's like, I said, who does this remind you of? At the same time, we both just said Chris. It's a great image, but let's continue with the topic. Yeah. So, yeah, Minecraft, I'm really excited it came back, because now it gives me an excuse to not play it on my own in the darkness of my room at 3 a.m. Um, but yeah. That, yeah, Minecraft is amazing. Mm -hmm. So, moving on to the next topic. I know I'm bad at transitions. Area 51. Oh, Jesus that, fucking that, Christ. Was like, it was, it's like the creeper meme. It was funny for five seconds, and uh, then it became uh, not funny. Like, uh, look, the whole Area 51 raid, it's kind of, it was like, like it was fun. But then, because it was just like a fucking, it was like a haha. It's like a thing that people saw, and they're like, that's yeah, funny. That yeah, it's the big, it's the big oh, funny. Wow, wow. Big funny, yeah. But then you're like, huh, wait, what if people actually, like, take this a bit too seriously? And there are people that will take it too seriously. And there are people that are taking it too seriously. Apparently, according to some news articles that I have yet to confirm or deny if they are fake, a bunch of hotels have been booked, like, maxed out near Area 51. I don't know if that was real or not, because I'm not up to date on that meme, because I don't care. But if that is true, y'all need to get some other things to do with like jesus christ go play like go like jeez spend time with someone else don't go to don't go to nevada for a ha ha funny like why would you go to fucking area 51 out of all also, places you I could go to fucking I hawaii or something i found the picture right, this is oh there's, there's chris yeah there's chris hey oh. you got geometry dash light you guys like yeah i can play the first level of geometry Yo, I can get to, like, Time Machine. Oh, speaking of Joker, uh, he's my new main in Smash now, because I've just been playing on my Switch all summer. But, like, other than that, Area 51, awful meme, hated it, hated everything to do with it. There are, like, three people that managed to make it funny, and those three memes all revolved around nothing to do with the actual Area 51 thing. It was, like, it's just awful. Yeah, like, I feel like most memes nowadays just, like, make their own expiration date, like, in my opinion. Because, like, with Area 51, the, we know the raid is going to happen September 20th, but after September 20th, it's no longer haha -ha funny. This whole September 20th raid thing, that was like, okay, fine, that's cool. But now if you're like, that meme died, like, a month ago, that's, well, obviously nothing's going to happen. Everyone on September 20th is going to be like, oh, shit, yeah, that was supposed to happen. Yeah, I feel like, like by now the meme has died, but by the day the raid actually happens, like, it's already in its fucking grave. Yeah, like, the day the whole raid is gonna happen, like, like, the only thing I found funny about that was, um, a news reporter trying to explain to their fellow, uh, casters what the hell a Naruto w run was, and a military man from a briefing for the Air 51 raid actually demonstrating a Naruto run. Those were the only things I found no. funny. No, no fucking way. The actual way. meme was awful. Like I don't like I don't understand why people thought that was such a ha ha when it was literally like a get out of my face. I don't care about your stupid raid. I can't like, believe that's no, it's not real. Whatever you just said there was not real. They, they did oh, not actually. The, was... the man Naruto running. Yeah, I don't not I don't believe that. The past like uh the, the past memes of this year have been decent at best. I mean if. The, like, I, I don't think I've found a meme yet that I just love. Yeah. Like, fucking hamburger. Get it? It's 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 a food. <laughs> ah. Yeah, hamburger? That was a, that's a great one. Yeah, I know. Uh, if you would care to look at the Discord. No, that's not... I, I still don't believe it. I, 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 can, I see the evidence, and I still don't believe it. that's real. Just... just I, I fully believe that's real. God is dead. We killed him. We, we fucking killed him. 
So guys, we did it. So yeah, I agree with you. There weren't any good hahas this year. What? What was? What would I consider the funniest meme of this year so far? Like I don't fucking know. I don't like. There isn't anything good. Yeah, I don't know either. If you were to ask me that, I would be like fucking. Um, fucking. Wait. He was talking about how are the alien, but the mic cut off. Twenty eighteen wasn't that? I loved that meme. It was everyone hated it. I thought it was so fucking funny. It's just like this little dancing alien guy just fucking coming out of the corner doing a little. I bought. I recently like I played Fortnite again recently because I was really bored. Yeah. And I bought an emo just because it was the Howard the Alien dance. Like it was five hundred V bucks and I bought it just because it was Howard. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, I, I kind of liked Howard. He was a like, good one, I guess. He like you could put him anywhere and it would be funny, but like, so the, the stuff people could do with him would just be great. Like it'd be all like. Because it was all like, oh, this is what I see when I have sleep paralysis. But, like, the actual, like, funny part where something that you expect to happen, it was just Howard. Like, the thing with jokes that people don't understand is that there needs to be something people call shock and awe. Where all of a sudden you think something's going to happen, and that thing that you think is going to happen doesn't happen, and that's a funny. That's called the shock and awe. Like, you have to think about, like, when you think about a comedian telling a really risky joke, like... Like, he's all like, oh, you know, one time at a family reunion, my uncle came over, and then he fucking butt-fucked me. Like, then out of nowhere, you think that's funny because it's out of nowhere. Yeah. That's the whole thing with a good joke. There has to be good timing, and there has to be an actual punchline. It can't just be all like, what? What would, what would, what would kids, what would, like, the incoming freshman class think is a joke? Oh, it can't just be fucking, and I, like, that's not funny. You need to have actual contact. Like actual context as to how that's supposed to be a funny video. If you're just sitting there like, it's fun, like loud equals funny. A lot of things that comedians do nowadays is just awful because it's just like, that's what people do. There's always going to be the like group of people that are always loud equals funny. And, and that's, I feel like that's the thing with a lot of like comedian YouTubers and like Instagram people and such. I know it's been a thing for like years now that loud equals funny for them, but like I feel like it's becoming more clear nowadays. Yeah. The only actual good input of loud equals funny is earring. That's a good input of loud equals funny. If it's just like, ah, then that's not funny. Like, unless you have a good context as to why it's a loud sound, then it's not funny. Yeah, you can't just say like, ha, I'm Latina, and think like, oh, I'm supposed to laugh. Yeah. Like, you can't just be all like, in, I'm Spanish. Insert Spanish joke about mom hitting me with sandal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you just scream. <laughs> like, but, I, like, the only people that will laugh at that are, like, dumbos. 13-year-old children. That's their, like, demographic. 13-year-old girls fucking s -s -s and I oop head asses. So, I get it now. Yeah. I get it. Any people that are watching this that somehow get offended by me saying s -s -s and I oop head asses, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Okay, anyone, so, the direct the hate freshmen, towards him, I am not responsible. Listen, if any incoming freshmen to our high school end up watching this and get really offended because you're drinking from your fucking high row flask, standing James Charles and Junk Cook, and shut the fuck up. Literally, I hate you. The Goonga Ginga meme, I like that, where it's like, oh, Goonga Ginga. I, I thought that was kind of funny. Okay, that one was a pretty good one. That was, yeah. um... So speaking of bad what? comedians, um, what are your predictions for YouTube Rewind 2019? Oh, How Rewind 2019. How's that going to um, work? If YouTube doesn't have Minecraft, then they don't know why their site was good this year. Yeah. Um, I feel like PewDiePie actually has to be in it. I know he said some mean things on a bridge to a gamer. Yeah. I feel like that was like two years ago, or a year and a half ago. If Logan Paul could still be in a rewind after he went to the forest, it was all like, oh yeah, and then like, you know, like, PewDiePie saying a bad word, like, a uh, racially insensitive word a year and a half ago can be forgotten. They just made a sequel to his YouTube Red movie, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. The Thinning just, the Thinning just got a sequel. Yeah, PewDiePie but... doesn't come back, it doesn't get a second season. Like, I can only watch the Outlast season so many times. Like, the free Outlast episode, because I refuse to pay for YouTube Red. No, I think it's called uh, YouTube Originals now. I don't think it's YouTube uh, Red. is it Red? Is I don't even know if it's YouTube Originals, Originals or YouTube Premium. 
It's one of those. Uh, premium and originals. I'm pretty sure they're actually like two different. Yeah, I don't think they're called YouTube Red anymore because they're being associated with that one bad website and they don't want to be associated with it. Oh, yeah, yeah. that one website. Yeah, yeah that one. Uh, I don't know if Kevin in the podcast uh, talked to you about this, but there's a new joke along with that is associated with me. It's being said a lot, but it's a funny little joke called Nick is a Nazi. And it's a, it's as simple as it sounds. I'm German, and I'm automatically associated with the Nazi party. Bad people. But it's like, come on, really? <laughs> like You didn't tell me you were a Nazi. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. But no, it's like, also, of course, when I'm cleaning out my desk, because I'm getting a new setup, I, like a giant swastika on. Of it. <laughs> uh, it's a, okay, it's a really good comic series, all right? It's called Mouse, M-A-U-S. Check it out. It's a graphic novel, and it's about a guy whose father was, like, in a camp, and it was, it's like his story being retold as, like, the Jewish people as mice, and the Germans as, like, cats, and the Americans as dogs, and stuff like that, and it's, it's really good, it tells a really good story, and it's, like, it's just a good book series all around, there are two books, and I got it at Barnes & Noble, the complete set, for, like, 30 bucks. But yeah, I have it sitting around because I enjoy the book series. But of course, it's like German guy with a book that has a big old swastika on the front. That's not a, that's not a, good, that's not a good look. I mean, obviously you're a Nazi. Like, if you have a book like that, then I mean, just... Yeah, of course. And of course, okay, this this just makes it even worse for me. Because the cover art is, it says the title of the book, and it shows a swastika with a Hitler that is designed to look like a cat in the middle of the swastika. Stika. Of course, I prefer cats over dogs. Oh, I'm God. Sure. It's literally like it doesn't add up in any favor for me. And it just makes me look so bad. That's a big yikes. Mm-hmm. But don't get me wrong. I ain't like that. Okay, ladies so and gentlemen, I want to confirm. Is. Nick is not a Nazi. Yeah, unless you hear it from Kevin, uh, it's still not true. Like, it's not, no, one, no matter who says it, it's not true. It's fake news. Fake news. Yeah, get, get it out of you. All right, next topic, because we have no actual way of keeping this podcast organized. Yes, uh, favorite YouTubers. What are your favorite YouTubers? I don't have definitely. I change it all the time. I ended up watching, like, so what I've been doing this summer, since I don't have friends to hang out with, I get dedicated to one YouTube channel, and I watch a bunch of their videos in a row for hours on end, and then I do that with a different YouTube channel. So, more recently, I've been doing it with a channel called Clint Stevens. He speedruns Mario 64. He's a streamer. He's really fucking funny. And his chat is really funny. It's such... He's just such a cool guy. And it's really funny. Check him out. Uh, the current... Actually, if we're going to talk about streamers... My favorite streamer at the moment is a streamer named Ted Nivison. I'm subbed to him on Twitch. I use my Twitch Prime sub on him. Uh... He's, uh, he's just a really chill dude. Like, I've fallen asleep watching his fucking stream. He's just like, he's a really relaxing kind of guy. He's not like your ninja Fortnite. Ah! Like, stream. the fuck you say to me, you little shit? Why aren't you at school? You kiss your mother with that mouth? Also, we should probably go back to the YouTube Rewind topic because we barely talked about it. Um, As we have said, this has no coherent order. I know. All. You're in a fucking video with Neat Tom. Do you expect anything to be organized? Ready to install a game on my Xbox, Naruto. <laughs> like I'm looking at my ready to install. Normally it says like 54, and it's one. And it's Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4, and I don't know why I don't play many games. Yeah. And I need to finish Borderlands 2 before I buy Borderlands 3. Okay, this is all uh, right. The perfect YouTube rewind. Okay. Yes. Three minutes long. The entirety of Revenge. And throw in a bunch of YouTubers that actually do Minecraft-related stuff and funny jokes. And remove all Viners, all family-friendly content, throw it all out the fucking window. Like, just include all the people that the people want. Remember in, like, YouTube Rewind last year when, like, El Mills said, let's give the people what they want, and then they proceeded to not give the people what they want. Let's give the people what they want. Fortnite. <laughs> fucking, I love it. Oh, yeah, they did, did, they did do an I love it sketch, didn't they? Yeah. I... I literally wiped that from my mind. Like, the perfect YouTube Rewind was back when What Does the Fox Say? Yes. Like, what was that, 20, 2013, 2014? Like, and it actually had PewDiePie, and it was good. Like, that was, like, that was a good YouTube Rewind. I enjoyed that. Yeah, um, the, the past Rewinds have been just big bra moments, honestly. 
Yeah, it re- they really have been. Just Rewind 2018 has just been the biggest bro moment of all time. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. the moment was so big that it is now YouTube's most disliked video, which is... And YouTube doesn't know what they did wrong. Like, That's like, you know for a fact YouTube has no idea what they did wrong. We did what the people wanted. You did what the minority wanted. We just want PewDiePie. We want showcase for more memes that weren't shooting stars. Like, come on. Shooting stars wasn't even popular when YouTube, when YouTube Rewind was being made, wasn't it? No. It, was, it wasn't. No. It was... was it even popular in that year? Probably. I don't remember. But the YouTube, like, like, it's just not cool, man. I feel like you have an actual meltdown over, like, YouTube Rewind. Yeah, YouTube Rewind really pissed me off, because I want good shit that I'll enjoy watching a video that is made once a year. This YouTube video is made by Susan Wojcicki herself. <laughs> we actually pronounce her last name. I, like, it's, I have a fucking stroke reading it. What, Susan Wojcicki? <laughs> yeah, do, 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 Susan uh, Wojcicki. Yeah. Sorry, Susan. Sorry, bitch. Susan. Don't don't take my channel down, please. Yeah, Susan, you're a bitch. Sorry, but God damn it, Nick. But it's like you know, YouTube Rewind 2019. It just has. Look, I'll be satisfied if it includes PewDiePie, Minecraft, and Captain Spark. So this is the three things that need to be included this year. If it doesn't include either of them, Jesus Christ, what is wrong with you? That's just not right. Captain Sparkle's Revenge sparked number one on Genius and iTunes for a good month, right? It was oh, one of the man. most, literally a lyric video, one of the best videos of all time, Revenge lyrics video, was made this year, eight years after Revenge actually came out. It's like, if you don't include any of that stuff, why would you even have the rewind? You have a very good point, Nick. Yeah, like, if you don't add, like, at least, at least Minecraft and PewDiePie, that's all we want. We want the king of YouTube back. I swear to fucking God, if half of India shows up in YouTube Rewind, I'm going to- Oh, they will. Someone. They probably will. YouTube cares about numbers. Dude, they it's don't gonna think... pan out, and it's just not even gonna show anything going on. It's just gonna be, like, no music, a Google Earth, like, j- like, it's gonna be, like, an image of a satellite slowly moving over India. That's gonna be T-Series Showcase. And then it's gonna cut right back to the actual good stuff. Yes. That that would be perfect. So yeah, the moral of this podcast, Minecraft is great, and if you haven't played it at least once in your life, then play it for the love of God. Yeah, if you haven't played Minecraft, like what is wrong with you? Yeah. Thanks for watching this shit. Uh, th- if you liked it, make sure to rate five stars. Um, comment. Yeah, YouTube still has ratings, right? Uh, favorite. Yeah. Share with your friends. Be sure List. to add me on MySpace. And um, yeah, that's about it. Um, now, if you don't mind, right. I'm going to go on my MySpace page, and I'm going to have a... Before we end this, I need one more shameless plug. Is that a problem? No, it's not a problem. Go plug. ahead. Okay. Everyone watching, follow Toucan underscore boy on Instagram, and also follow Toucan dot underscore memes on Instagram. The meme page perch on Instagram just happened. I'm trying to rise up. I'm stealing content. I try to post daily. I haven't posted in two fucking days. We're I'm, we're getting up there. We're getting up there. Follow my personal and my meme account. It'll be great. Uh, but yeah, uh, thank you for having me. It's an honor. Uh, thanks for watching. And um, until next time, when Adam actually gets on the podcast. I may return when Adam gets on the podcast. Yeah, he may return. Don't, don't think that I'll be gone. He will not be gone. Uh, yeah, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs>